Hi, I'm Kayla and I help small businesses with QuickBooks Online and bookkeeping. In this video, I'm going to show you how to categorize or how to record expense refunds from the bank transactions page. Notice here we have some sample transactions from or to a rental for equipment rental expense. We spent $800 and we'll categorize that. We spent $1,200 and we'll categorize that. And so, so far we've paid them $2,000. But then they gave us a refund for $200. So we see that in the received column. The category is the same. So we want the expense refund to be in the same category as the original expense category. And I'll show you the results of that on the profit and loss. So here we're going to put it in the same place. We'll add that. Okay, so notice on the profit and loss we have equipment rental for $1,800 total. If we click on the amount, we'll see the breakdown of that. And notice the running balance so we can kind of see how it's calculating it. So we spent that 800 and 1200. If we had categorized that refund to some other place, the profit and loss would tell us we had a total of $2,000 of equipment rental expense, which isn't true, we had a refund. So by putting the refund in the same category, it will subtract it off of those total expenses and tell us the right amount that really at the end of the day, we've spent $1,800 to a rental or an equipment rental expense. Okay, so that's how to categorize an expense refund, put it in the same expense category as the original expenses.